All right, so we're done. Hi, you're watching Journey with Jordana, helping you take the next step in your journey towards your future. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're excited because we're doing it. We are applying to college. I'm gonna do it in 15 minutes, five steps. So whether you live in New York or not, international students, I'm looking at you. CUNY is a great financial option to include on your college list. Three out of four students graduate debt free. Enough said. They have amazing opportunities at every level. Whether we're talking about support programs like ASAP, CD, C, ACE, or we're talking about prestigious honors programs that include free housing and tuition and study abroad opportunities, or whether we're talking about their accelerated programs like their seven year SMD Sophie Davis program, or their five year engineering program, or their five year architecture architectural program or the music programs. You get award-winning faculty teaching award-winning students all in your city for a decent price. I mean, if you're thinking about CUNY, one way to look at it is like this. You can go away for college, go out into the world, accumulate some student loan debt, and then not be able to go back out into the world for quite some time. Or you could stay close to home, graduate debt-free, and then go back out into the world. Because again, all the money that you're making is yours. No student loans, you're debt-free if you're one of the three out of the four. Not selling it, just saying it. We celebrate all the wins here. My goal is to have you have this application done by the end of this video. But that's not pressure for you. It's just that I don't want any of my lovies missing out. Like the deadline for the application is September 15th for the spring, February 1st for the fall. But everything that they offer, money, program seats, they all come first come first serve. So if you wait to the actual deadline, those things are gone. So that's why we're doing it now. But you can feel free to pause this video at any time. I will be waiting just like this for you to come back. Let's go. Hopefully you have all of your documents. You saw my previous video. If you need to, you can stop and check that out right now and come back with all your documents so that you're not constantly like, mom, mom, mom. That'll definitely take longer than 15 minutes. Apart from that, all you will need is a sheet of paper folded into four sections, a pen and internet access. So for step one, we want to check out the CUNY admissions profile. But before we do that, the first thing we want to check out is if you are SEEK or College Discovery eligible. Because colleges realize that some people have a tougher life than other people. And as a result, they may not have done as well as others in school, but you have potential and they want to help you succeed. So they believe that if they support you and give you extra tutoring and summer bridge programs and just are there for you, that you too can succeed. So you can check this out and see if you're eligible. Now, you're automatically eligible if you've ever been in foster care or a ward of the state, or if your parent or guardian receives family assistance, disability assistance, or family daycare payments. But like I said, here are the requirements. And if your family makes under the amount listed for the amount of people that are in your family, you're probably SEEK or college discovery eligible. You just want to check with your counselor to make double sure. So if you're SEEK and college discovery eligible, congratulations. And now, on to the part where we see where you fit in. So here are your two columns. If you're seeking college discovery eligible, you see your column. And everybody else, you see your column. These are the GPAs. Now, these are the average GPAs of students who are admitted to these schools. So that means that there are some students who did a little bit better and there's some who did a little bit below that. Don't feel like you have to hit it dead on in order to have a good chance. So for example, if I had an 82 average, I would be applying to every school that had anything in the 80s. Does anybody notice anything missing here? No, SAT scores. Like everybody should like jump up right now and just be like, woo, because <laughs> not everybody's a good test taker, but no SAT scores for fall 2020 till spring 2022, not paying attention to any SAT scores, don't need to submit them. So what you're going to do is on that first section of your paper, you're going to list every single school that you're eligible for. And I put the initials down just to make it easier for you. So you could just write down the initials real quick. You leave a little bit of space at the top and for every school that you write down, draw a line that goes from one box all the way over to your second box here because we're gonna use this to form a graph. The reason why you wanna list as many colleges that apply to you is because you can apply to up to six colleges on your CUNY application and it's the same price. Whether you put one down or six, same price. So you might as well put down at least six. But for now, write down everything that applies and then we'll make that list smaller as we go on. Now, if you have a GPA over 90, you might wanna think about the Macaulay Honors Program. If you're an honor student already right now, like you have 90 up, I really suggest that you take a look at the honors programs. There are a number of honors programs, even if you are going to community college and let's say there are honor programs for them too. So just take a quick look at those. And in that case, this is a situation where you would be picking your school by the honors program. And if your GPA is below 75, 
I got you, hold on. We're gonna take a look at community colleges in just a second. For now, just pick one of these four-year colleges that's closest to your GPA, maybe even in your borough, if that's more convenient for you, and just write that down. And I'll pause so that you can write your list right now, waiting just for you. All right, so let's take a look at community colleges. Again, I wrote down some initials just to make it easier for you to be able to jot them down on your paper. So if you have an average that's below 75, again, you're just listing down the schools underneath each one. You just draw a line from box one to box two so that we'll be able to do our graph. And you leave a little bit of space at the top because we're gonna need to write some headings here. If you've already made your list with all your four-year colleges, just take a look at the community colleges and add one to your list because we wanna be safe. All right, step three, we are moving along. There are only five steps, almost done. So looking at the website, you can see that there's a section for majors. Go to cuny.edu, click on admissions. You will see that it says apply. Click there and then it will take you to this page, undergraduate. Now under apply, it says that there are some college choices and academic programs. We're gonna click on that because that's gonna lead us to all of the majors. So if you scroll down, you can see that they'll list all the different majors that are offered at each college. But we're actually picking by our major. We have no particular loyalty to any particular college yet. So let's look up degree programs. And if you look, you'll see there are a lot of degree programs. Just go ahead and scroll through the majors and you're gonna list one to three majors that you're interested in. And I did another video that talked about like how to pick your career and what field you might be interested in. So you can take a look at that, but it's okay if you're undecided too. Like totally figure it out as you go. Do you wanna pick a school that has what you could potentially be interested in so that when you're ready to decide on what you're interested in, it's available for you. And you're gonna write those majors right here at that spot that we saved across the top, perpendicular, just list out the majors. And then you draw a line down so that we're forming little boxes. So put a check in the box for each college on your list that has that major. And this I cannot overemphasize. Take your time. Like seriously, this is the part that's gonna take the longest in the entire process. So go right ahead and take as much time as you need to do this part here because it gets a little crazy. For example, let's say you want biology because you want to be a biology teacher. Well, when you go and look at the majors, if you just select bio, a long list of schools pops up saying, okay, all of these schools teach bio. Fabulous, but you'll also see that there's a major for bio seven through 12. And Queens College has a program. If you choose biology teacher, then suddenly Brooklyn College shows up as an option. If you choose biology teacher education, then you'll see your college pop up as an option. And if you choose biology teacher seven through 12th grade, you'll see that City College, lo and behold, also has a program. Now you might be thinking, okay, I'm done, right? Because biology and neuroscience is what comes next, but if you skip down one more, you will see biology, seven through 12, Hunter College. And this is why it's gonna take a minute because everybody has their own names for their majors. So you wanna make sure that you see every single option that is available to you. You don't wanna cross the school of your list because you think they don't have what you want when they do. Just call by another name. I will say this, the more you look, the more questions you will have. But the more questions you have, if you have the courage to ask those questions, you can find more opportunities. For example, when I used to see things that I didn't understand, I was just like, what's that? Ugh, whatever. <laughs> and I'd be like, whatever, move on. Don't, don't be like me. Do not do that. Like, ask the question. I'm gonna give you an example why. Let's say you wanted to do nursing. If you type it in, you'll find there's an AAS program at BMCC. You can become a registered nurse at Megar Evers getting your Bachelor's of Science of Nursing. You can also become a registered nurse getting your Bachelor's of Science of Nursing at the Professional Studies School. You can also study nursing education. You can also study nursing education and get your bachelor's and your master's at the Professional Studies School. And you can do your per nursing preclinical and get your associate's degree at Queensboro Community College. So if you saw this and you were like, eh, I don't know the differences between all these different nursing programs, I'm just gonna pick one randomly, you would be missing out on an opportunity. Let's say you needed to be able to get your foot in the door, get some skills so that you can get a job, then you want it to work. You want to, let's say, maybe take the preclinical program at Queensboro. You get a job in nursing and then get your credits up because the School of Professional Studies will take you to do online school once you have 24 credits. And if you wanted, you could do the bachelor's and the master's online while you're working your regular job. 
which would allow you to make money and then at the same time still be able to move up because it's hard to go back to school once you already leave but you can get it all in one fell swoop like that's an amazing opportunity but if you were like i don't know what that is i'm, I'm just gonna skip it you would miss that opportunity so i know it's hard god knows i know it's hard to ask questions but ask them and the phone number is 212-997-CUNY or 212-997-2869. Write that one down. <laughs> Whip out your phone right now and put that in. It's called the Welcome Center. So they have to be welcoming to you. I feel particularly passionate about this. I'm going to move on. Because black and brown students, we tend to settle and we don't apply for the highest degree programs that we can. And part of that is just the intimidation factor of not wanting to ask questions or just not being aware of what's out there. So just think whenever you see something and you're like, what is that? And and you shrug it off, it's very possible that in a few years that whatever could turn into, how come I didn't know about that? Bring on the tears. I'm just saying, cause I don't want you to have any missed opportunities. Moving on, we're almost done. Step number four, take a look at the map. Think about how you feel about traveling. It could go both ways. You might feel like I don't mind traveling because while I'm traveling, I can study, I can do my homework, I can get a lot of things done on my way. Or you might feel like, you know what? I have a job and I don't need to have extra travel time on top of the fact that I need to be getting to my job. It's gonna make my schedule too tight. So taking a look at the map will give you an idea of where the school is. Also, you, you can check out City Mapper and trip planner to get an idea of how long it would take you to get from your home to the school using public transportation. In the bottom left box, you're going to rewrite your list of colleges that you have above in the order of preference. So let's say you have 10 on your list. You can drop off the last four and just keep the top six. And one thing, never, ever, ever, ever put a school on your list. If you're not interested in going there, if you don't want to travel there, now we're applying online. We're gonna have a in these streets. Ms. Shoulder is celebrating you. If you've ever taken a college now class or you're an early college student, you probably have a CUNY First account. I don't know if you remember your username and password. If you do, great. You can use that username and password to start your application. If you don't, it's not a problem. You can apply as a guest. So if you're applying as a Macaulay Honors student, this was your opportunity to let them know here. You'll apply to CUNY like everybody else for the general admission part. You'll put your six colleges, but then you're going to come back again and you're going to put down two campuses for Macaulay Honors. Now, Macaulay Honors has programs on a number of different campuses and each campus has a different emphasis, a different focus, different extracurriculars, different majors. So you'll want to spend a little bit of time checking that out. But you don't have to do that right now. Otherwise, everybody else, we're applying as a general freshman. You're going to register for an account, just putting in some basic information. Then once you have that, now we'll take your username and your password, which you are writing down, and then you'll be able to log in into your account. So date of birth, gender, a working phone number, an email. Like I said in the other video, you want to pick an email address that maybe you just use for all your college stuff, scholarships, things like that, so that it's a nice and clean email address. There's no other junk in there. You won't miss anything. So here they're asking about your address. And I don't know if this happens to you, but whenever I put my address into a computer, they're always telling me that that's not what it is them out so if that happens to you click the box to override the average address verification also if you need to add more details and let them know things like your mailing address is different than your physical address which is different than the billing address that let's say you're using if you're playing with a credit card you can just keep checking boxes to say that it's different and you can put in different addresses for each one of those things now regarding citizenship i know that's a really sensitive topic i just want to let you know like don't worry about it. Nobody is using this information to hurt you or to come after you. This information is confidential. If you are a citizen, you know, just click citizen US. But if you're not, you can put down what country you're a citizen from. And CUNY themselves are very supportive of dreamers, students with all kinds of backgrounds and all different situations. And there are a number of options for status. You can say you're an asylee or a refugee, that you intend to apply for a visa, or that you're a temporary visa holder, or that you're a US permanent resident. And whatever you pick, as you pick it, it'll open up more boxes which will allow you to put in things like the date, registration numbers, whatever the other additional information is, it'll pop up once you pick it. A U.S. military status, ethnicity. I'm not going to go into a whole rant about how stupid racial breakdowns can be. Uh, for languages, that's also optional. It's not to identify you specifically. They want your family information. There's a box at the bottom where you can just click on it to be able to add other family members. This is the part where you get to pick your colleges and your major. You're so ready for this. You already know your list of schools. So just enter or search for your major. 
And for every school and major that you put down, it'll give you a link that will tell you if there are additional application requirements. Now, if you want, you can copy and paste that into another browser window so that you can take it and look at that later. But when you're finished with this process, you'll have a CUNY First account and all of that information will be available for you later. For those of you who are eligible for Seek Out Discovery ASAP, ASA, all of it. This is your moment. Check that box. And if you don't know anything about these programs yet, trust me. These are fabulous programs. If you are eligible, the only answer to any of those questions is yes. Yes, 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 yes for all of them. Seriously, yes. Take a second, hopefully you have that copy of your transcript with you. It is worth your time to put in your OSIS number because they will just look up your transcript if you're a New York City student. Any college credits, those in, college now, those test scores, recommenders, extra program activities, don't stress, those are all parts of your supplemental application, so you can come back in and do that. There are no SAT scores, but you can put in your AP scores. So for your recommenders, whatever you do, do not let this be the way they find out. They just like open up their email and say, thank you for agreeing to write a recommendation letter for so-and-so, because that's not a good look. You wanna ask them personally, giving them some information about yourself before they get the email from the school requesting the letter. For extracurricular activities, that's where that resume comes in handy. It makes it nice and easy for you to put it in. You have all your dates and times, just plug them in. If you're using a fee waiver, send it to CUNY UAPC as opposed to using up your fee waivers on each individual school. That's just one shot. It'll apply for all six. So once you're done, take your time, look through everything, make sure it's exactly the way you want it to be because you can only re-enter the site to add supporting documents like your essays and to pay your application. So if you're not ready to pay right now, that's not a problem. If there's something that you really do need to change, don't stress. You can totally call them and say, listen, I need to fix this. <laughs> can you please help me? And they'll be able to help you to update your application. Summary sheets are available once you've officially submitted your application. When you print your summary sheet at the bottom, make sure your CUNY ID number is on there and save that because that's what you're gonna need to get back into your CUNY First account. If something goes wrong, don't worry, they'll email it to you in a few days. Save that email, print it out, put it in a folder someplace safe with like all your other college stuff. That CUNY First account is going to be everything from this point moving forward. You'll find out where you got accepted. You can see all of your information regarding the schools that you apply to, whether your recommendation letters have been sent in. There are other things that you need to do for your application, like if there are other parts, because like I said, there's some programs that have a two-step process. So what we did today was just one step and you're done, unless your program had a two-step process, whereas there are additional things that they're asking for, essays, interviews, sometimes auditions, recommendation letters, things like that. So you don't wanna not get into a program because you didn't aware that there was something else that they needed. So you wanna just stay on top of that. Everything, CUNY first, CUNY first, CUNY first, CUNY first, CUNY first. All right, guys, that is it. You have officially applied to CUNY. Like, that's it. It was, it, that was not painful, was it? So thank you for applying to CUNY with me. I hope this was helpful. I wish you the very, Best. I wish you nothing but success, 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 success for your future all over your life. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody else who's applying to CUNY, tell them to check out this video too. Share. I'll see you soon. Bye.